today we're going to strip the steel TS410 down to a short motor. First, start to detach the water kit from the machine by unscrewing the holder using the torque spanner. For safekeeping, you can fix the screw back in place. Now, using the torque spanner, remove the screw that attaches the belt guard to the machine. Using a 13mm spanner, release the tension in the belt by turning it anti-clockwise. Once that's been loosened, remove the recoil by unscrewing the three 13mm bolts which hold it to the machine. Now that's removed, free the belt completely from the machine and detach the arm. Using the torque spanner, unscrew the spark plug cap. Then loosen the four screws on the shroud. Remove the four screws of the air filter cover to free the air and gauze filter. Now, return to the shroud and completely remove each screw. Rest the shroud back on top of the machine until it's been detached completely. Then, remove the four screws which hold the flywheel cover on by using the torque spanner. Once that's removed, lift the shroud and detach the wires from the machine. Remove the spark plug cap and unscrew the spark plug from the machine. Using the torque spanner, remove the two screws that hold the cylinder cover in place. Now, screw in the piston stop to lock the crank. Use a 13mm spanner and turn anti-clockwise to free the starter cup. Then, detach the 13mm bit and return to completely remove the starter cup. Now use a 19mm spanner to loosen the clutch by pulling it clockwise. Spin it clockwise by hand to completely remove the clutch. Then remove the washer and clutch pulley. Use a 13mm spanner again to loosen the flywheel by turning it anti-clockwise. You can completely remove the nut which sits in front of the flywheel. Then screw on the flywheel puller into the centre of the flywheel. Shock the screw by striking it with a hammer. Once you've hit the flywheel, you can then unscrew the flywheel puller by turning it anti-clockwise. 
This will allow you to remove the flywheel. Once that's removed, turn to the exhaust and remove the four screws which hold it in place using a torque spanner. You will now be able to remove this from the machine, along with the guard which sits behind it. Using the torque spanner again, loosen the screw which fixes the AV spring in place. On the flywheel side, remove the screw seated at the top right of the machine. Then turn to the clutch side and remove the screw positioned in the bottom left. Once the screws are removed, unscrew the one on the far right hand side. Now you need to detach the piston. To do this, slowly pull it away from the rubber tubing by pushing the hose clip. Once that's done, free the piston from the rubber tubing directly below it. Now you can completely remove the short engine. Finally, you need to remove the ignition coil. You can do this by removing the two screws, holding it in place using the torque spanner. That's how you strip a TS410 down to a short engine. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.